This is a very sensitive and delicate issue because not only are we talking about dozens of hostages who have been away from their home for over a month and a half in conditions that we really don't know, the bare minimum, we assume, but they're also talking about children, and that is a, a unique situation that Israel's never been in. So uh, ahead of this, in preparation for receiving these hostages, uh, Israel's health ministry issued, health ministry and also uh, the uh, Ministry for Social Affairs issued guidelines as to how to uh, reintegrate them in society. So basically, how will this work? This is a briefing that was uh, given to uh, military officials who are responsible for receiving the hostages. So um, every hostage who will return will be uh, designated. Uh, there will be a soldier who will uh, who will receive the hostage. And uh, when we're talking about uh, children, the soldiers uh, received uh, special preparations, special instructions, basically saying, hi, my name is so-and-so, I'm an Israeli soldier, you are safe, I am going to be with you uh, for the duration of this process, and I will be with you until you make it home. That is uh, very important. So if we can uh, move on uh, to the, the next issue, we're talking about uh, a medical screening and initial reception. So after uh, getting to a, a, a base inside Israel, the hostages will be spread out into uh, one of six different hospitals across the country, with uh, the children will be designated to the Schneider uh, Children's Hospital. Um, and in, 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 in those hospitals, obviously, the medical staff has been prepared in advance to give a proper uh, screening, medical screening, but also a medical evaluation. Um, this also includes um, a, a specific diet that we will uh, touch on uh, a little bit more. If uh, we move on, uh, the integration process and absorption process will also uh, include meetings with social workers and mental health experts um, who are going to be meeting uh, also with, with the individuals, also with the children trying to get an understanding as to their current situation, but also to uh, give the sense that there is uh, th uh, that there is someone looking after them, that they are not in this process alone. That is a very a key element of this integration process to try and, and, and reduce any elements of, of shock, perhaps, after being uh, 46 days in, in Hamas captivity or Palestinian Islamic Jihad captivity. There are also hostages who are being held by just crime families in the Gaza Strip. So uh, let's move on after the uh, social worker support and mental health. There is the pre-release support. This is to make sure that everything that they need before going back home, whether it's from the bare necessities uh, such as clothes and other things, but also uh, integration once they are home. Because once the, the, the hostages return home, that is not the end of the support that they receive from the state, from the health ministry, from the, the social affairs uh, mi mi ministry. Social workers will continue to be in contact with the families, with the hostages. And that is also um, the issue of the post-release support to make sure that uh, despite the, the, the supportive network that they receive once they arrive back in Israel, once they're back in their homes, some with their families, others unfortunately not, then they will uh, continue to receive support from the state. Now, I will note that part of the 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 the, the challenges um, that the that pr children raise uh, children hostages raise for instance uh, if if the child asks about their parents who 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 suffered a devastating fate on October seventh the soldiers were instructed not to answer the question saying I don't know even if they do know uh, the answer. Now, the final point, the issue of the, of the uh, integration of, of, of the initial diet, this is to avoid a situation uh, of, of uh, malnourishment 
And um, sometimes it's, uh, when you reintroduce food, it's, uh, I think reintroduction syndrome, or I think uh, Dr. Gelman here, Professor Gelman can... Uh, overfeeding. Uh, overfeeding, yeah. Basically, it's uh, a situation where you arrive uh, after a prolonged period of malnourishment and you need to uh, give a steady and very specific diet in order to not overwhelm the system because that can cause uh, a lot of uh, complications. I think the best example for that is the stories of uh, the liberations of the camps during the Holocaust, that this is something that happened uh, in many instances. So as for the specific diet that the ho released hostages will receive, babies will receive uh, a bottle of 120 milliliters of baby formula. As for uh, children from ages one to three, they will receive, uh, the, they'll get water, uh, uh, non-sweetened applesauce, as well as one biscuit with tea and sugar. It's also uh, s similar to uh, recommendations for breaking the fast. Yom Kippur, for instance, this uh, will resonate with uh, viewers who uh, keep to that. As for teens and adults, they will also receive water, a hot drink, uh, with sugar, as well as three biscuits and applesauce. So as you can see, this is the bare minimum that people need to reintegrate not only themselves in, 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 in society after the trauma that they've been through, but also their, 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 system, their internal systems as well, because they also have, those also have been under uh, severe trauma. And so all this is to uh, try and and, and 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 really receive the hostages with the most sensitivity, but also to make sure that all their medical, social, and psychological needs are all being met. Not only once they arrive back in Israel, but in the uh, initial period moving forward.